Hello friends, today we are going to learn a new type of pattern. So let's look at the following pattern. Let's find the consecutive differences between the terms. Like 2 minus 1 equals 1, 3 minus 2 equals 1, 4 minus 3 equals 1. Since we found a constant difference of 1 in the first step, so the general term of this sequence must be represented by the polynomial in degree 1. So its general term is represented by n. Let's look at another sequence. Let's find out the differences of consecutive terms. We didn't find a common difference, so we proceed again to find the common differences. So, it took us two steps to find the common difference, so the general term must be represented by a polynomial in degree 2. As we already know, the general term for this sequence is n square. Similarly, let's look at another pattern. We proceed the same process, finding the differences. Again, finding the differences until we reach a common difference. So we use here three steps to find the common difference. So its general term is represented by n with degree 3. So its general term is n cubed. But today we are going to learn some new type of patterns. Let's see. Let's find the differences of consecutive terms. Let's find it again and again. And again, our aim is to get the common difference. But what happens in this pattern is we cannot get a common difference. Instead, we found a new pattern over these diagonal elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it seems that these goes on increasing with 1. The general term for these sequence is represented by this formula. Let's see another pattern. Let's find the differences of the consecutive terms. And here also we don't find a common difference. But what we can see is we see a pattern in these diagonal elements. It is nothing but n square, which we have already found here. So the general term for this sequence is represented by this formula. So today we are going to learn the concept of rotation of sequences. The concept of rotation you can find in Google or any online resources because while playing with numbers I came to this idea. In rotation what we do is we take advantage of this diagonal element and rotate this sequence to get this result. So before starting what you need to know is you need to know the concept of combination. The combination of n objects taken r at a time and its application to find the nth term of any polynomial sequence. If you do not have the knowledge of finding nth term of polynomial using combination, you can look the video that I will give in the link in the description below. So let's get started with some simple intuition. Let's look at this sequence. It is a geometric sequence and each term is multiplied with number 2. And let's try to find the differences of consecutive terms. 2 minus 1 is 1 and so on. Let's again find the differences and again and again. What you can see is each term of this pattern is multiplied by 2 but each term in diagonal elements is multiplied by 1. Let's look at another example, you will be clear. Let's find the differences again and again and again you can see the pattern here also each term is multiplied here with 3 and in the diagonal elements each term is multiplied by 2 so what you can see here is if the diagonal elements is represented by the general term 2 to the power n minus 1 when it is rotated when these diagonal element is rotated and it will give 3 to the power n minus 1 sequence Similarly, in this case, when 1 to the power n minus 1 in the diagonal element is rotated, 
this will give the sequence that is 2 to the power n minus 1 so in general what you, you can see here is when x to the n minus 1 is rotated from the diagonal elements then it will give x plus 1 to the power n minus 1 and by the simple rule of differentiation and using combination what I found was this result when you have this sequence in the diagonal element then if you rotate this sequence you will get this sequence and when we put x equals 1 you can get this result so we are going to use this result to get the general term of the series so let me take you to the example that I have shown in the starting of the video so this is one pattern and we go on finding the differences and what we reach is the diagonal elements follow a general sequence it is an arithmetic sequence so let's find out the common difference for it 2 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 2 is 1 and so on now the main concept is first we use these di two diagonal elements to find the general term for the sequence which is tn equals n and we are going to rotate this sequence to find the general term of the sequence so let's get started by using 1 and 1 in this manner with combination we can find the general term for this sequence so if you simplify this you will be getting n as a result because the general term of this sequence is also n and this also gives the same result now we are going to rotate this sequence to this direction so we can use the rotation formula to get this result actually you don't need to remember the formula just copy all these steps and just add 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 minus 0 and here also just copy this thing and just add 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 so it's easy to remember this rule instead of remembering the formula you can just see here that the combination remains the same and the only difference is it is multiplied with 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 minus r so on simplification we will get this result so this will be the final result so when we plug in n equals 1 we will get 1 when we plug n equals 2 we will get 3 when we plug n equals 3 we will get 8 and so on let's do another example and you will be clear this is the second example that I have shown in the starting of the video we already found the differences of the sequence and we just came to the conclusion that the diagonal elements has got a familiar sequence which is n squared so let's find the common difference between these diagonal elements 4 minus 1 is 3 9 minus 4 is 5 and so on let's again find the differences 5 minus 3 is 2 7 minus 5 2 and 9 minus 7 2 so we reach a common difference as 2 now we are going to find the general term for this sequence using these three elements and then we are going to rotate this sequence to get this result so let's use these three elements 1 3 and 2 1 3 and 2 with the proper combination that is the first element will have c n minus 1 0 the second element will have 1 and the third will have 2 so if we simplify this expression you can easily get n squared so we keep it in the form of combination because we know the formula for combination only so let's use the rotation formula since we are going to rotate this sequence over this sequence so it will give us this result and on further simplification we will get this so this will be the general formula for these sequence when you plug n equals 1 you will get 1 when you plug n equals 2 you will get 5 when we plug n equals 3 you will get 18 and so on so by using the concept of rotation of sequences 
you can come up with some new ideas in finding the patterns. So thanks for watching.